what is up guys before this video starts i have a couple announcements for you guys but if you guys want to skip to the direct start of the gameplay go uh, at that time right there and you guys can enjoy the video but if you guys want to stay here it will mean a lot to me and uh, basically we can talk a little bit of one-on-one -on -one. so i am very excited for the direction that my channel is going in because i'm getting a lot of new equipment and hopefully that can up even higher the production quality of my videos because currently right now all my classes i'm doing exceeding my expectations so the the better i do in class the more equipment i'll be able to get for better videos but i just i feel like if you're making videos and you're not going anywhere you know what's the point of making videos so i'm gonna set a couple goals for myself um a couple goals for myself in terms of growth of my subscriber count because if i don't hit a certain threshold then i will completely cut touch with this channel and sell all of my recording equipment so my goal for this year is to be at 1,000 subscribers by June of next year. And if I don't hit that, all of this equipment will be gone. So I need you guys to help me a lot by going down in the description, leaving a subscription, uh, leaving a like, and leaving a comment. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for these announcements. I may be doing a giveaway soon. Stay tuned for that. I'm still uh, working out the kinks and about uh, how I should deal with it. but. I will let you guys know soon if that is to happen or not to happen. Also, I think I'll be completely revamping my room soon. We'll see how that goes. And uh, I just have a lot of hopes and dreams for this year. Not YouTube based, but room based. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I put my heart and soul into this one. I put a heart and soul to all videos. But what I think I'll be doing is making shorter videos, but upping the quality on the editing at 60 frames per second and making it a lot smoother than my previous longer videos. So leave a like if you guys want to have shorter videos with uh, more editing in it, or leave a like also if you guys want to have longer videos. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. I did something a little bit different with this video. It's not my usual, but uh, yes, let's get right into it. Peace out. <laughs> How are you doing today? My name is Kexaro, and today we are going to be playing Dark Hill Museum of Death. Now I looked up this game, and it seemed pretty, pretty cool. Basically, it's going to basically it's going through the worlds. It's going through the world's famous death machines. Okay, two D. I believe it's 2D. You can see that the screen is kind of, kind of like small. You know, you got the left, right side. But uh, I don't know how it's gonna work. I haven't even pressed start yet. But let's get right into it, babies. Let's go. But it's awesome. So in the in the you know kind of sample showed like the guillotine, and it shows like I guess just text and talking about it, and uh, it seems pretty cool. Okay. So uh, the next video I do. I hate when I say this because it's messed up for editing. But the next video I do, I believe is going to be pretty cool. But let's hop right into it. So I believe there's like puzzles to get through each level. So let's see what we can do. Right here, the executioner's block. Dating back hundreds of years, decapitation has been used as a cheap and effective method of execution. In Great Britain, beheading was considered a more honorable death than alternatives such as hanging and was largely reserved for those of noble birth convicted of treason. Okay. Pretty cool guillotine right here, I believe. Yeah, let's read it. So I'm not gonna be reading all of them, but you guys can also pause and read them if you want to. But uh, let's continue. Boom, boom, boom. That's a puzzle right there. This is the guillotine. Remember, you can pause them and read them because I, I read fast, so I'm gonna be reading through them as fast as I could, and then you guys can pause it and then re-see it how you would like to see it. But this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, it's a missing a piece. Duh. Okay, what's this? Is there guns? Like replica guns. Let's see, the shooting block, firing squad. Oh, that's brutal. It's brutal. Okay, what's over here? Another one of these red buttons. Like to show it, I guess. Oh shoot. Okay. I didn't know I was gonna be controlling it like that. Let's read it first. The electric chair. Let's try and do it, I guess. Boom. Boom. Oh, I'm trying to get all of them. Maybe down. On down. And then these two. 
Look at your boy. Whoa. Now let's, let's press it. Oh, it's just a ball. Okay, I got one of them. So next one's here. Maybe I don't need an orb. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that resets it. I get it. Okay. Is this all puzzles? Okay, I understand how to do this one, obviously. You just want to try and match up the colors. So then blue here. And then yellow here. There we go. Okay. Whoa! That's awesome. Let's go back and hear this music. Okay. Let's continue. This is awesome. Okay, it's cremation. Dating back to ancient times and practiced throughout the world, cremation is the burning of human or animal remains until only bone remains. In modern cremation, many bone fragments are ground into a fine powder, which resembles ash from a powder, powder from, from fire. The ashes are often kept by a family member or scattered at a location for deceased choosing. And then I, I'm gonna assume that we can actually burn. Oh, okay. Can we mix and match? Oh, you gotta mix, you gotta switch them up in the allotted time. Okay. I, I get it. Okay. Red, blue. Red, blue. Red, blue. No? No? Maybe one more? Okay, this isn't a right one, that's why. Okay. Switch him back, switch him back, switch him back, switch him back. And then boom. Okay, get it. Bring. There we go. I like that. It's okay. It's like an elevator, I guess, for the next level. Let's continue. Not that many puzzles in this one. Do I get the puzzle here? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. This is gonna be right here. No, that's that's the the eye, right? Yes, the eye. I've never really been a puzzle person. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, I think this last piece is probably gonna go here. Maybe. Oh, wow! I didn't think I was. Gonna, I did it, guys. I 100% me. I did it. That's awesome. I can't believe I did that. I'm really good at this game. I, I like. I love puzzles. I did it, guys. That's awesome. Good job, Kickstarter. I did it, guys. That's awesome. Ooh, go Kickstarter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll be right back in like two minutes. I'm just going to solve this. I'm just going to work on my brain and uh, let's get this done for you guys. I'll be right back. Oh my god! Okay. Holy crap. Guys, hard work really pays off, man. I'm not, I'm just a genius, man. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the, the door opening sound scared the crap out of me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go, baby! Dia de Muertos. Day of the Dead. Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a Mexican holiday and focuses on gathering of family and friends to pray for and remember friends and family members who have died. Traditions connected with the holiday include building private altars called ofrendas, honoring the deceased using calveras, Aztec menigotes, and the, oh, you like that Spanish, right? <laughs> and the favorite foods and beverages of the departed. So I'm guessing this is a puzzle? It's actually not, okay. Can we hop up here? No, we can't. Okay, what's, uh... Okay, Halloween. Everybody knows who this is. Pause if you want to read that. These ancient stones are said to conceal a gateway to the afterlife. Three crystals placed on opponents will open the gate. So, uh, one, two,
Am I dead? Okay, recently this he's this way. This is a long waiting. I actually like this kind of game idea though, because you know it's also a it's a very well made game. <laughs> Hold up! Wow, it's a very well made game, but it's also informative. So I, I definitely like that. Let's read this. Not your time. Nothing else. Oh, this is another puzzle. Oh shucks. Okay, we're gonna go right, right. Oh, I get it. Left, right, middle, right. Okay, I get it. Left, right, middle, right. I didn't even need a freaking video for that. That's just poor geniusness. Okay, are we going in here? Oh no, we're going out here. Okay. I just hope there's no jumps. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thank you for playing Dark Hill Museum of Death, a game by Dan Rusko. Press escape when you're ready to exit the game. Okay. That was actually a very well-made game. As I said before, it's very. I like games like that that are well-made, but also entertaining to play and also being informative. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys did not, make sure you guys leave a comment and a reason as to why you didn't like it, okay? Leave subscription. I'm trying to hit 1,000 by June of next year, I think I said. So, yeah, 1,000 by June of next year. High goals, high expectations, but I haven't been growing in a while, and I need to start growing, okay? So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later, next video. Next video is going to be big things you don't know, okay? So, I'll see you guys then. That's basically it for me, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.